What are these? Numbers. We have seen these numbers many times. But let's dig into how they are made. When I have nothing with us, we represent it by this symbol called zero. When we have this much quantity with us, we represent it by this symbol called one. When we have this much quantity in our hand, we represent it by this symbol called two. What are we doing? We are adding one to the previous quantity and we keep giving new symbol and new name. We After nine more. So I have simply added one to the previous quantity. Again, I could have made one new symbol. I could have taken any shape. But this time, mathematicians realized how many such symbols we will keep making. There is no end to the counting. So they thought of making next number using previous symbols only. This time they thought, let's start using one more place. And make new numbers. They fixed second place with the smallest number. From there I started counting. And they started counting again. And they kept doing it till 9. What is these numbers? If you see this is also 0 1 only. 0 1 means I have 1 at first place. And nothing at second place. 1 0 means... I have 0, nothing at first place and 1 at second place. If you observe, 1, 0 and 0, 1 are made of same digits. But they are not at all equal. So what is the thing which is making them different number? It is the placement of 0 and 1. It means... Where my digit is lying, make the different number. So this is where my place value got introduced into the system. Now we have to give names also to the places. Because I want to know where my digit is lying. What we did, we started our one digit counting with ones. So I name first place as once only. I started my second digit. That is my second digit got introduced at 10. So I named second digit as 10 only. There is one more interesting thing. All these digits at once place are representing something. Let me say coins. After 9 coins, that is 9 ones, I am getting 10 coins. But since my second digit is coming to the picture, which is at 10th place, I can represent it as 1 tens also. So actually, these set of 10 ones is nothing but one tenth. It is like if you have to give me 10 rupees, you can either give me one ten rupees dot and this is equal into these 10 lose one one rupee coins. After 10, I kept adding one one at one's place and I kept going till 19. At 19, I have 1 10 note and 9 ones. To get the next number, I have to add 1 ones to it. When I added 9 ones to 1 ones, I have got again 10 ones. So, my second digit has got generated. Whenever I am getting 10 ones, I have to replace it with 1 10. It's like 10 one coins you are replacing with 1 10 note. All, both of them are equal. Now second digit I have to send at 10th place. How, this 10 
got absorbed in this thin node and I am left with nothing at one's place. So zero ones. Now how many ten nodes, how many tenors I am having at tens place. See this one ten is equal to ten ones and it has come from my ones place. So now how many tens node are there at tens place? Two. So this two is what? Since it is a tens place, it is two tens. One ten moved from ten ones to one tens place as one ten. What was it? This was carry over. Yes, you have got it right. Now we kept going till 99. Let's see what is happening at 99. To get the next number, I added 1 to 9 ones of 99. Now again, I have got set of 10 ones and these 10 ones. See, when these ones are at ones place, these are 10 ones only. The moment it will be replaced with 110 and it will move to tens place, it will become 110. So place of the digit matters. When my 10 ones are at ones place, they are nothing but 10 ones. Now these 10 ones has got replaced with 110 and it came to tens place. Now how many tens I am having at tens place? Ten tens. Ten tens. My third digit is getting generated. So after 99 we are getting 100 and my third place we have named as 100 only on the name of first three digit number. These 10 tens will become 100. Again, when they are lying at tens place, they are 10 tens only. But when they are becoming 100 and they are moving to 100 place, these 10 10 nodes are getting replaced by 100. Now, how many ones I am left with at once place? Zero ones. Now how many tens I am having at tens place? Zero tens. And how many hundreds I am having at hundreds place? One hundreds. By this one hundred I am talking about hundred note. You can think it as hundred note. I am having only one hundred note. When this one hundred note somehow comes to Tens place, it has to be replaced with ten tens only. Place matters here. If it is lying here, it is ten tens. If it is sent here, it is one hundred. So what we have concluded, my one hundred is equal to ten tens. And 110 is equal to 10 parts. So actually my 100 will be equal to how many ones? 100 ones. Corresponding to every 10 node I have 10 ones. So we have 10 tens there. So in total I am getting 100 ones. So we are done with place values part 1. Part 2 is coming shortly with addition having carry over, subtraction with borrow. Please do practice, try to visualize it. You can use your monopoly notes or actual notes also. I am signing off. Bye bye.